Yo, I'm Nez and I'm up in the kitchen and I'm doing another impromptu review of the BAM, a little generic bag item. But what this in fact is, is the, I don't know if you can focus in on there and see it. If I can stop wob wobbly wobbly wob wobble wobbling, boom, you can't really see it, but I'll tell you what it is. It's the Balfour Stand Mixer Dust Proof Cover. And that's Balfour spelled Bravo Alpha Lima Foxtrot Echo Romeo, B-A-L-F-E-R. And this is exactly what I said. It's a cover for a stand mixer. Bong. It comes in this bag right here. Um, you know, kind of zip it up, close it. You know, to store it if you want to store this. But, you know, the whole purpose of this is to cover your stand mixer, right? So I don't think I'll be spending much time in this bag. So let's get it out, get a look at it. And just so you know, just so you can see <clears throat> where I got it from. I did get this bad boy off of Amazon, as you can see right here. 10 bucks, bong, Balfour, as you can see, bam. All right. So let's get back into this, open it up, pull it out, bong. This is what the cover looks like. It's supposed to be able to cover any stand mixer whether it be uh, um, a professional or regular series or artist artisanal or whatever they call it um, it has little side pockets here so you can put some of your gadgets or your attachments I should say um, and it just goes right over it what it looks like on the inside it's like a quilty material feels nice and soft so um, what I would like to have seen is maybe there was some kind of like a drawstring on the bottom you know, like a, some type of drawstring on the bottom so that way you can like kind of pull it closed to like ensure no dust gets in it. But I mean, this will do the job. I mean, a little dust gets on the base. It's not the end of the world as long as it doesn't get in the bowl and stuff. All right, so let's move it over to where my mixer is and um, go from there. Bon, we back in. We got my mixer right here. So basically, I'm just going to cut right to the chase. Um, I'm going to throw this bad boy right over and see if it covers. Bam, that's what it says. Covers my mixer with the bowl on it. Got the little spot for two um, things there. Um, some attachments there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this back off, take a couple of attachments out of the bowl and um, fill it up. Let me uh, pause this and I'll come right back in after I do that. Okay, we back in. And as you see, I got a couple of things in the side pockets now. Now here's my problem with the side pockets. Okay, see I got the two hooks in there. I got the spiral hook and the C hook in there. But as you see, I got two other attachments here. And these pockets aren't wide enough to fit these attachments in them. So I, I feel that if you're gonna make pockets, you should at least make accommodate, make them. So I would much rather you make it like one big wide pocket so that way you can throw a couple things in there versus making pockets too short to fit the attachments that are supposed to go in there. Or even like putting it on this side where it's wider. You can put one on this side and one on the reverse side. And that definitely would have been wide enough to fit attachments such as this spade here. So that would be my problem. I would almost rather you not even put pockets on them at all. Um, because I don't know what else would you put in there with such an instruction booklet, which it didn't even come with one, and are these hooks. So, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and keep keeping it into the bowl, in the bowl like I've been doing. I'm not going to put anything on the side. It doesn't even ma doesn't make sense. But, you know, that's just my little constructive criticism. I would much rather you uh, not even put pockets on there, or if you feel the need that you have to put pockets, put them on the front and the back, or just make one big pocket on that side and even maybe you know one big pocket on the other side so you can actually get some stuff in there fit some stuff in there because um a lot of people who have these machines have you know more than just the uh, just spiral and the c hooks to use it so other than that you know it's a good buy i mean it's only 10 bucks not the end of the world and it does what it you know claims it does it's going to keep your um your mixer dust free so for the most part, because like I said, that um, you still can get to the base, as you can see there. So, if it had a little drawstring on there, it might have been a little better. So, those are my only, those are my constructive criticism with this. But for ten bucks, I mean, it is what it is. So maybe some more expensive ones have all those features. But this is what I got. So I'll put the links in the description where you can get that. Um, I still say you should get it. It's only ten bucks. So with that being said, I'm Nez. and I'm up in the kitchen. It's been an impromptu review of the Balfour stand mixer cover. And I'm out this piece.